When people in other countries describe Finland, it is often associated with positive impressions. Sometimes it feels like some people think Finland as a dream country located in Northern Europe. As an international person happily living in Finland, of course it's,、uh, it's good to hear that Finland makes a positive impression on many people abroad. However, nowadays I see more and more discussions and contents shared in social media that include a variety of fake and biased information about Finland. In most cases, Finland is admired with exaggerated information and that sort of content is usually shared by those who don't even live in Finland or who haven't visited Finland. And you can see many people start correcting that sort of information based on their actual experience or reliable news article. So in this video, Let's take a look at how Finland is seen as a dream country or a utopia by people in other countries. I personally like to live in Finland, but as you know, there's no such a perfect country. Sometimes this annoys me a bit, but nowadays, in a way, I'm entertained by、uh, seeing those discussions online, so I decided to introduce some examples today. So, here is the first example. I translate it to English. People in Finland, the world's happiest country, have the great habits like this. Using things carefully for a long time, not being too hard on yourself and resting well, living a nice life without spending money, eating well and doing exercise for good health. Valuing time and a personal relationship rather than material wealth. Happiness can be found near yourself. So, what do you think? The funny thing is, this person added one more to it. He wrote something like, Some people might be wondering where the Finland is. <laughs> Finland is located in Northern Europe and it is one of the Baltic countries. <laughs> Of course, Finland is not a Baltic state, so basically he knows nothing about Finland. While there are many admiring replies, there was also a variety of counter opinions like this. In old times, Finland wasn't rich and people didn't have enough things, so they just had to use them for a long time. Nowadays, many people buy non durable things from cheap brands. Finland has the highest rate of mental diseases in the EU. Obesity is one issue in Finland. Of adults over 30 years old, almost one in two men and women have abdominal obesity. If you are Finn, do you agree? If you are non Finnish, do you have similar impressions towards Finland? For me,、uh, th- these habits don't necessarily <laughs> have Something to do with Finland. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. I asked Finnish teachers why everyone can leave work at 4 pm. The answer was simple. Everyone thinks it's important to finish work during working hours and value their own time after work. That's why they organize New Year's party and a farewell party during coffee break for around 30 minutes. This is great. So, again, what do you think? Many people replied something like Wow, this is brilliant. I love how they value their private time after work. I'm now checking how I can immigrate to Finland. On the other hand, there were also lots of comments from those who actually live in Finland, including It highly depends on the workplace. I'm working in Finland and we have company parties after work. This is kind of a superficial comment. Nowadays, many workplaces have flexible working hours, so some people work until 3 pm and some others might work until 6 pm. Many workplaces organize Christmas party but not New Year's party. 
Apparently, this person made the tweet based on some random information found online or heard from someone. I wouldn't say everything what is mentioned here is wrong. But maybe it highly depends on where you work. And even in Finland, there are many people whose working style is completely different from this. Here is another tweet from some Japanese person. Working practices of office workers in Finland are amazing. Remote working more than once a week. Free address office. 80% of men get paternity leave. Much shorter lengths of meetings than those in Japanese companies. As a result, Finland was ranked as the happiest country for two consecutive years. Japan has high suicide rate, so Japanese should imitate Finnish way of thinking. About this one, some of them actually describe how I work in Finland. I work from home at least once a week, and our company's office is free address, so they are same as my working environment. However, I have no idea about the meeting length and I would say we can't generalize it for sure. The fact that Finland is ranked at the top of this controversial world happiness ranking is not only about these working practices. And also, it's not the two consecutive years but five years in a row. So in that way, this is another kind of shallow information. And some people who actually know about Finland also pointed out that suicide rate is also quite high in Finland. I think that's a valid point. And again, there are so 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 many comments from people who assume everything mentioned here is true and admire Finland, such as, wow, I decided to live in Finland in the future. It's awesome. I now understand why Santa Claus lives in Finland, and so on. It looks like this whole discussion is like a joke. <laughs> Here is the next one. I asked my friend in Finland why Finland is ranked as the happiest country. The answer was that Finnish schools respect opinions of school kids, let them do what they want and tell them the rules as well. Also. Every kid knows how to appreciate each of small things. What do you think? Apparently, many people reacted this post with cold eyes since this is quite dubious. For instance, there were several counter opinions that mention drug use and violences among teenagers at schools in Finland. Another common reaction was that, what are you talking about? You can't mislead readers easily with the shallow content about Finland and Nordic countries anymore. Also, one person showed a screenshot of Yule's article about an issue teachers at Finnish schools are facing. The last one is from YouTube. This is not one specific case, but there are many videos about Finnish education. Some of them highlight no homework as a special feature of Finnish schools. If you are Finn, you know, no homework is not true. All of my Finnish friends I asked said they got homework. The schools might have reduced the amount of homework but they still get homework. Those videos mention similar things like Finnish kids don't get homework but they outperform students in other countries. I know Finland is famous for its unique methodology of education. But it feels like in many other countries, it's seen as frontline education, which is superior to the education system of other countries. I mean, it's good that Finland is getting an international attention. And one reason could be so that Finland took the number one spot in OECD's PISA test in 2003 and 2006. But after that, Several other countries have been ranked higher than Finland, and anyway, this PISA test itself <laughs> is a controversial test, so it seems Finland doesn't focus much on getting the highest rank again. So these groundless contents featuring Finland are usually about either 
Finnish happiness, working life in Finland, and Finnish education. Apparently, those are the topics you are likely to get more attention easily online, meaning many likes, comments, and followers, even if some of the information is not based on the fact. I'm sure we keep seeing this kind of content. I'm not very keen to correct each of them, but today I wanted to introduce you some of the examples of how Finland is seen, or let's say how Finland is admired by foreign people. I'm interested in hearing your opinion as a Finn and also as a non Finnish person, so please feel free to comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Moika!